Well, hey guys. So I filmed a video for you guys reviewing this Rode skincare line because I got some requests to review it after I told you all I've been trying it out. And honestly, it's not bad. Here's the <clears throat> glazing milk. What I like about the glazing milk is it does have this like little bit of grip to it where it doesn't just run off the side of your face. See what I mean? It's like, it's kind of thick. It's a thick liquid. Then over that, I'm just going to come on with the glazing fluid. This particular combination, it does give the skin like just a nice hydrated dewy base. So just do three pumps. I'll be interested to see the comments of that video. I mean, it should be up already at this point when you guys are watching this vlog, but I'll be interested to see the comments from you all if anyone has tried this out because I've been pleasantly surprised. Like it's not bad. And now I'm going to come on over with my sunscreen. I've been doing the banana boat protection plus vitamins. So I've been doing the POW face exercise gadget. I am very skeptical of that thing. First of all, I have kind of a hard time getting it to work. It's actually a lot harder to get it to flap. Like you nod your head and it doesn't, it doesn't flap like that. You have to kind of forcefully jerk your head and then it'll do that. But you have to like time, it, it's hard to explain. If you have any kind of neck injuries, stay away from this wacky gadget. I'm just trying it out because I'm curious. Um, but uh, one thing I've noticed doing it in the mirror is like, like I said, you kind of have to forcefully nod your head, but if you get in the rocking motion too much and, and you're thinking about it, overthinking it, you end up clenching the muscles in your neck too much, which is not the purpose. You know, you're supposed to be using the muscles around your mouth. Uh, it's, it's not as straightforward as one would think. It's not as easy as just like bobbling your head around. All right, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to do it. So the idea is that you hold it in your lips. You don't bite down on it. You're supposed to put it in your mouth. You're not supposed to bite on it. You're supposed to hold it with your lips. So that's engaging the muscles around the mouth. And then the weight is supposed to go up and down. And in theory, the weight's supposed to go up all the way to like your brow, but watch. So just gently nodding your head does not make the sides go up and down. This is what you have to do in my experience to get it to go up and down like they show. And you see how my neck is clenching? Getting the weights to, to move to engage more, it doesn't, it ends up engaging your neck too much. I do get fatigued like right around here, the cheeks, but I find that in order to get it going up and down and up and down, I start engaging the muscles in my neck too much. I'm gonna keep going with it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep going with it and I'm gonna try and get up there with the weight and see if there's a difference. I've been taking photographs, so we'll see if there's any change. All right, you guys, so update on my mushroom mug that I snagged at Kroger last weekend. Um, I like it, but I don't recommend it because this handle is just not it. It's really, I'll show you once I get it filled. See what I mean? Like, uh, I have to rely on those two fingers. Ow, it's just not a pleasant experience. <laughs> yeah, and otherwise you have to do like this which the mug is hot, so that's not pleasant. So if you're gonna carry it across a room, uh, and there's there needs to be like at least a thumb rest here if you're gonna do that to give you some leverage, yeah. But the other day in Kroger, I saw this new tea from Celestial Seasonings Throat Cooler. This is a really nice peppermint tea. Yeah, it's a really strong peppermint flavor. I'm thinking of getting some of those chocolate stevia drops and putting it in there and that'd be like a, like a peppermint patty. 
I went on a little adventure over to Awesome Bites. It's a bakery slash ice cream shop where everything is vegan and most of their stuff is free of like common allergens. So definitely check it out. Uh, they don't use any added sugars in their pastries, so it's really unique. But they have a ton of cute like little gifts over here. I wanted to get some clips. It's really loud in the store, or at least there was like music, so I didn't talk in here just doing voiceover. But yeah, they have lots of cute little gifts and they have cupcakes, muffins, they have these little brownie and blondie bars made with um, like black beans. <laughs> They're really good. And then they have a ton of interesting ice cream flavors like lavender earl gray chocolate olive oil they even have a choco taco that's vegan i need to try that sometime you can get um ice cream cakes that are made with nice cream so basically frozen bananas um it's just a really cute little bakery shop they also had these like sauces and dips that i need to try sometime preserves with no added sugar i think they're sweetened with like dates um, they look really interesting blake hill let me know if you've ever tried these before and then this is some kind of chocolate date dip thing and a vegan hot fudge. They even had vegan condensed milk that you could buy. Um, I got some little mini muffins to go and then I also got one of their brownies. There's their little cute table. This area is very artsy. They have lots of nice murals everywhere. So I got this shot. Um, I went to this little warehouse where they have a lot of little shops and like galleries. I didn't really go in anywhere because honestly, I was kind of in a hurry, but here are some shots um, of the warehouse <laughs> with artwork in the window. The sky is blue, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Uh, but yeah, it's a very clear day out today. I hate mosquitoes. They're the worst. Like, what purpose do they serve other than to just challenge us? Like, that that's what, what they're there for. Humans, he, human suffering. That's what the purpose, of, the purpose of the mosquito is. Like, what do they, they don't, I guess they serve as food for maybe birds, but I'm pretty sure birds could eat something else. Like, take one for the team. Um, yeah, mosquitoes are just the worst. They carry all sorts of diseases suck blood gross Ugh, I hate mosquitoes and the sound they make is like a death rattle that's what it is it's a death rattle like you know how they have that water torture where they take prisoners and they put them like down in a hole in the ground and they like drip water on them slowly why didn't they think to just put a mosquito buzzing around them that is even worse. I, I don't know what would be worse, the water treatment or the mosquito buzzing. Um, not really, not really sitting around thinking up ways to torture people or anything. <laughs> um, you guys are like, what is she? What is she doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to the library. That's what I'm doing because I need to turn back that book, A Good Man. That was a good book. I recommend it. Um, but it's due back. Um, and one of you pointed this out. But yes, I know, like Houston no longer has fines. So technically I could keep it longer, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take it back. I finished it, so why keep it? But yeah, I got a message the other day saying it was due back. So I'm going over there. But speaking of books, this Jonathan Franzen Crossroads, like I have trouble when it comes to audiobooks sometimes. Like if I, if I zone out, I'm, I'm, the book is over, you know, because I, I don't know, it's kind of like, I find with a, a book book, it's harder for me to zone out, you know, when I'm reading, but with an audio book, you know, you might get distracted and it's easy to zone out. Not this one, this one's engaging, like, it, it's well, I mean, it, it doesn't surprise me, I really like this author. Library is closed, but the drop slot is, is always sliding, sliding. One used in one book. <laughs> I heard they're opening up a new library over in the Montrose area. Comment below lo if you're local, um, if it's open yet. I mean, I know I could Google that, but uh, I heard it's it's gonna be really nice. I mean, the one they had before was so nice, but it was like this old building, but cool. I don't know, I, I, I'm intrigued. I have to say, the public libraries here, they're nice. 
Um, you guys already know though, I'm a huge library fan. Uh, I need to clean my trunk. It looks like something out of, I have my little cooler back. Yeah, I definitely, this is embarrassing. It's quite a mess, but we're gonna ignore that. Uh, take you back, good man. Yeah, this was really good. Um, it was a quick read. Entertaining. But I found myself getting like annoyed with the characters as I went along, like kept thinking to myself, don't do that. I like this sign they have because when you're parked far away, you can't see, you know, when you pull in, you can't see the hours, so you may not know, like, and the windows are tinted, so you can't really see in, but this is, like, nice and obvious. You just slide it to open and close position. So, I mentioned in my monthly favorites video how much I've been loving the Angie Hot and Flashy a506 little kitten paw she's trying to focus on her face kitten paw concealer brush they saw that and they reached out and said thank you for mentioning our brushes let's send you another one so you have a backup and this one to try out and they also gave me a code to share with you guys uh, for a discount so it's this isn't sponsored but it came in pr and since i've loved this brush so much um, I highly recommend it. I look forward to trying this out too. I just drove past one of the bus stops and it reminded me, I heard recently the little seating area, it's like uh, surrounded by clear like glass, but I guess with the heat, it gets like a sauna in there and it gets to a dangerously hot, hot level so that people are better off, safer, just standing out in the blazing sun than they are in that little hot box. And it got me thinking like, hey, that's not good. They should fix that, make something more comfortable, but uh, B, I was trying to remind, remember, you know, when I lived in New York, I took the bus a fair amount, and I don't remember what the little bus stop shelters were made out of. Were they clear? I can't remember. Like, it never got to the, the temperature that it gets here in terms of heat. I do remember st standing under those when it was raining or snowing, that's for sure but I don't remember them getting hot inside. Like who comes up with these designs? So I didn't grow up in Texas, but the Texas mom thing. Um, so basically for homecoming, they wear these like giant sashes and they decorate them. I think it's kind of cool, but I had no idea they were that expensive. Comment below, is that like the going rate for a mom? Ogre has their Halloween decorations out. What? This is the year of the scary mermaid. Oh, where were we in Home Goods? And they had those like spooky mermaids. And now there are skeleton mermaids. Pirates of the Caribbean vibe. But I'm really excited because check it out. Tuscany Candle has seasonal scents and they're on sale. Look at these long ones. Are those Tuscany or some other brand? Looks like some other brand. And they even have these special edition ones. Booze and Berry, Wicked Pumpkin. Then they also have these Apothecary limited edition. This one's really good, Eye of Newt. It almost smells like a Christmas scent though. Like they're going for autumn leaves. It smells more like a Fraser fir. And Essence of Nightshade smells a little bit like gardenia. These are new here on the end these special candles from Tuscany Playdate. They're supposed to mask pet odors. This one smells really good. There's Playdate and then I love the, the jar. Secret Play Place. Weekend Cuddles. These are cute. I'm telling you Tuscany is so underrated. Like they're always coming out with new scents and new packaging and sublines. Seamless Jasmine Coconut Milk for Best Pals. I just cracked into the bag of the cherry flavor of the Oomph gummies. I shared these in yesterday's vlog if you missed it. Um, I love this brand Oomph. They make no sugar added candies, you can get them on Amazon. But I've never had the gummies until recently I bought a batch and they're pretty good. That's what they look like. They're kind of like a cross between a gummy and like a fruit snack. 
But the cherry flavor is more like a realistic cherry, not like a fake candy cherry. It's pretty good. I rather enjoyed the pineapple. I'm looking forward to trying the watermelon. They're really good. It says apple cider vinegar. I, I guess that's just like a marketing thing. They don't have any vinegar taste to them, whatever. They're, they're nice. Mini fall candle haul. I swung into Big Lots and got this pumpkin muffin, but y'all saw there at Kroger, they got the Tuscany candle Halloween. And I have to tell you, I sniffed all of them and the majority of them smell like pre-existing Tuscany candles. So you're paying for the holiday label, although it's not any more expensive than the non-holiday version. Anyway, this one smells like their frosted cupcake candle. It has a little bit of a pumpkin undertone to it and it has the, the festive colors so i went ahead and got that i was trying to decide they had a halloween cookie one that smelled exactly like lemon sugar cookie which if you know that's my favorite tuscany candle scent i almost got that but i was like eh, i don't know that's not really a fall scent so i went with this trick-or-treat one because it has kind of a pumpkin undertone but i'll probably fire that up in october but i have this for them in the meantime well, hey guys, I just hopped out of the shower and to my face, I'm moisturized with the road glazing milk. Um, and I came on over it with the peptide glazing fluid. So, you know, these are the results post shower of the glazed donut look, which I'm not really getting glazed donut with this, right? They effectively moisturize to give that hydrated radiant glow, but I don't find this looks like a glazed donut. Like it's not shiny. Um, I don't feel slick or anything like that, super dewy. But all that to say, that's what I have on my face right now. Now retinol, it has to, once it gets in your skin, your skin has to convert it to retinoic acid. So it takes a little bit longer to see results, but it definitely can help with things like um, the visible signs of skin aging. Maybe some age spots, maybe over the summer you got too much sun and you have a little bit of freckling sun damage you want to lighten that up retinol can help with that and also with long-term consistent use it can help to improve the collagen in the deeper layers of the skin it can improve skin texture in contrast tretinoin is retinoic acid it's already ready to go adapalene it is um, a later generation retinoin that's already ready to go to bind receptors it doesn't require any conversion to get there you can use retinol on your neck. You have to be careful though, because the skin on your neck is delicate. There are fewer oil glands, so the peeling and irritation phase can be a lot more excessive on the neck. You can get a lot of redness, irritation, and if you end up going out in the sun with an irritated neck, the delicate skin of the neck is more vulnerable at that point. You can get you know, hyperpigmentation and discoloration. So be careful with your neck. Retinol can help once it's converted to retinoic acid with some um, hyperpigmentation, you know, lightening hyperpigmentation because retinoic acid will suppress tyrosinase expression. So it can help with fading sunspots, age spots. What a day, you guys. <laughs> I'm wearing my, this is a top that I got at Costco from the brand 32 Degrees. I highly recommend these tees. If you're new here, I wear these all the time, but I especially love the black ones. But um, I got a pack several months ago that's this light, this lavender color and like a blue and a black one. These are the most comfortable t-shirts. They're like this, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's really breathable. It's moisture wicking. Like it, it doesn't make you get overheated. It's kind of cool and smooth on the skin. Anyways, I paired it with the, this is my, like my glam PJs. I paired it. <laughs> outfit of the night i paired it with these pink shorts that i got at old navy with pockets they were like five bucks i swear old navy has the best deals like on shirts and stuff and these little shorts so this is what i've been wearing as my pajamas like you know i'm so fancy <laughs> but anyway y'all um i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here thank you so much for coming along i hope you're having a great evening when, or whenever you're watching this i don't know like what time you're watching it anyways i hope you're having a great day night whenever you're watching this if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye